Hello and welcome to Learn as Go. We will learn how to write stories today. Watch episode one to learn the five elements of an imaginative story. We will learn how to write fantasy or imaginative stories. A story is a tale that is made up for entertainment. We will learn how to write fantasy or imaginative stories. Keep watching episode one to learn the five elements of a story. Here we go. Characters, a setting, a beginning, a middle, and an end. These five elements make up a story. Now let's see what each of these are. Now that we're going to write a fantasy or an imaginative story, remember that this genre cannot take place in the real life. So, who are characters? Characters are people, animals, and other creatures. So, in your imaginative story, the characters could be a superhero with superpowers, a talking cat, a talking tree, a flying giraffe, or a vampire. So, the characters are people, animals, or creatures that are in your story. The second element of the story is the setting. The setting is the place where the story takes place. So, it's when and where the story takes place. The time and the place. The time of the story could be during the day, at night, on a windy day. You could pick any time. The story could happen in the past, in the future, during the daytime, at night, during summer, in October. It could be any time of the year or any time of the day. Where or the place referred to the bigger area, the bigger place that the story happens. Your story could happen in the mountains, in a big city, in the jungle, in the desert, at school, in the moon, or even another planet. So, setting is when and where the story takes place. Here we have the next three elements of the story, the beginning, the middle, and the end. The beginning is where we introduce the characters and the setting using descriptive language or adjectives. The middle is where the interesting events take place, the problem and the solution of the story. The end is where the characters reflect upon the events that took place and where they learn a lesson. Now that you know the parts or the elements of a story, watch episode 2 to get started in writing your imaginative story.